Hello lads, ladies, pirates, players. Hey, yeah, to you too. That's the one. There are all people behind the profile, that's... The purpose of me going to different guilds, seeing what's going down, fishing and shit plus mushrooms, is so that my job is to encourage, give a direction, a sense of direction, give hope, but more most importantly, to end the suffering. And the way I do that is, I entered multiple guilds yesterday. I don't do this all the time. Well, I have done this a lot in the past, but it's not something that I do on a regular basis. But I decided to get a more hands-on approach and see if I can reach out to the players, reach out to the people. And it takes time. It takes time to allow things to happen because I had to go to those guilds to see what was facing, what issues they were facing, those players, what's what's on their minds, what's on their hearts, what's going on. Is there anything that I can help with? Is there anything that Unique Rebel can do to kind of direct assist players that maybe are being mistreated, you understand? But at the same time, it could be they, they could be the ones causing the trouble too. But the thing is, I'm not here to judge anyone. I'm playing my own game. No one's asked me to come and help them out or whatever. i got to do what I feel is best for the people, for the players. I know everyone has a story to tell of the difficulties they went through, so I'm not in a position to disagree with anybody. I totally understand, but remember, there are layers of enjoyment, but there's also layers of suffering. And I can always say, pick a bad apple and say, look, I've been through whatever I've been through. and thing is I need to look at what positivity I can add if there is any good that I can give to the people the players if there's any goodness that I can give by sending the positivity vibes towards the players so that they can gradually see that there are layers of enjoyments as you pirate hole up there are layers of enjoyments as you pr up there are layers of enjoyments as you move on to another guild there are layers of enjoyments as you start to gain different understanding of approach of using your troops there are layers and layers of enjoyments that you can still have in this game. Where the monkeys is he going? Look, what's he think this is? Look at him, look. The monkey, look at him. I would have never seen someone run that fast with a belly like that. He's got his socks pulled up through his kneecaps, right on the kneecap. He's got his pants pulled up right to the belly button line, not above, not below, right on the belly button line. Going, Tosh, that's the one. Yeah, so there's layers and layers of enjoyments to have with this game. And it's down to the individual players to make the choice. You can run a slave ship. You can run a fair or unfair trade ship. When there's people and players that tell people that they have to fund the perks and that they themselves don't have to because they're the leader or whatever. Sometimes you have to go through the difficult times to know what the good times are all about. Sometimes you have to face the hardships and the struggles. 
of the gameplay life to understand what it's like to be playing around the best that the game has to offer. I could tell you about guilds that don't ask you to fund perks. Yeah? You'll never find a guild like that. I'll tell you about a guild that just says to you to just do one battle. You'll never find a guild like that. I know guilds that ask you to do five battles per day per rumble. I know guilds that ask you to, to score 5k per day. I know guilds that ask you to score 10k per day. I could tell you about guilds that ask you to to score 20k per difficult rumble. And I can tell you about guilds that ask you to push 50k when they want to really beat another guild. I can tell you about a guild that kicked <clears throat> a player for not scoring 50k. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I can I could pick so many bad apples, but at the end of the day, what benefits... What benefits will that bring to the players? What benefit will that bring to the people? What benefit will that bring to the people behind the profile stats? What can I do on this channel that will help others? How can I bring a direction of positivity, vibes and ask players, Mr. Bandit, what are you doing? Sorry about the coughing. Please excuse me. It's not part of my plan. It's not the way I like to play my game. Yeah, I've got some breathing problems. I've got some chest problems. I've got some throat problems. i got problems. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Yeah, I take it with a smile. Yeah, it's so good. Having my teeth to brush on. It doesn't matter. Oh, Luffy. What you doing, Luffy? So what have I done to help others? Mm, today, um, nothing. Just making things happen. That's the one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it doesn't really matter. It's a game. It's only a game. So it's not just a game. It's more than a game. <laughs> Yeah, Roger, Red Hat, Billy, Blue Hat, Jennifer, Yellow Hat, The Village with Three Corners, that's that one. So you can see exactly where I'm getting my background information I'm standing from. Yeah, what it is, I'm going to have to stop using my voice for a little while. I'm going to have to stop making videos. And even if I do make the videos, I'm going to have to just slow down with the voice because... It's getting a bit much now. And people are getting annoyed with me voice. No, not really. No, it's just, it's getting a bit difficult to use the vocal vocality of the linguistics of the Queen's English. <laughs> yeah, I would love using that part of a phrase of information. Yeah, I like, I like, I like me on a company. Unique Rebel loves his own company, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, that's how, that's how much he enjoys what he does, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, because basically the, the, the target has been, over the last few days, like last yeah, day or two, a few days, it's just been purely that there's a greater potential, a best, better potential, the more fuller potential of playing the game. There's a fuller potential of playing a game and enjoying it across guilds. And our unity can expand further across the horizons. It doesn't have to stick to minimums and limitations. Because minimums and limitations will only kill the game off. Minimums and limitations... We'll only. I'm gonna give you an example right now, okay? This wasn't part of the plan, but it's gonna become part of the plan now. China Bank, yeah? China Bank was a gradual product of minimums and limitations. 
But where is China Bang today? I'll tell you where China Bang is today. It's in the bottom of the Mariana Trench. I'll tell you what happened. Minimum of the limitations. Now, I was totally against it. And that's why I had to leave him because I could see what was going on. There was an implode situation going on. With that Hagar Monkey Targato and that Syriana that loves the banana. But they were causing implode situation issues. They were using the good nature of those players and using the fairness in gameplay to go against the device availability time. That's why I try to tell you all how the monkeys can you impose minimum limitations on scoring points when people are doing two jobs to cover the expenses in real life. How can you impose minimum limitations upon people that are looking old, looking after elderly people? Imagine getting demoted or kicked because you have to spend more time with the elderly person. How are you going to tell anyone in the guild that I'm looking after someone elderly and I have to give them a bit more time and I won't be able to... My parents aren't well and, you know... You know, like, it just... They, they would just turn around and tell you to just go and leave and go into like some sort of a resting guild. Look, I don't need to be making videos on this subject. End of the day, it just means anyone else is going to suffer. And for me to put my reputation on the line, just to help others that I don't even know, I will gladly do this a hundred times, without even thinking about it twice. Because I've had friends, people that have passed away. I've had people that have passed away in this game and I'm not going to allow their sacrifices to go to waste. I'm not going to allow people to waste the potential of such a wonderful game to just disappear just like that. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to give up. So I'm always going to keep fighting for whatever I feel is right. And I know many times I'm in the wrong, but, you know, it's a learning process. And I'm not trying to justify the wrongs. I'm only trying to give you all an example of an idea. That there's always more. There's always more. And we need to look at things in the more <clears throat> fullest picture. That we possibly can. So please allow me to go. As I wish you a well. Because I knew from the last video. That there would be people that may not totally understand what I'm saying. But I knew also at the same time that. <coughs> it may take a bit of time for anyone to understand what I really was. What the true message was behind the video. Wherever you may be. So I understand exactly where people and players are coming from. Keep smiling, keep shining, keep rising. Throughout your own gameplay enjoyments and experiences. <laughs> but more most importantly, the real lives. Minimums and limitations is a path towards <clears throat> having reasons to kick people. Minimums and limitations hey. is something I can't agree with. Because at the end of the day, it's okay for max level guilds to impose minimum limitations but even then 
and you've got like a smaller guild where you're training players and people, if you start imposing minimums and limitations, you take the fun out of the gameplay. Because I went through, through a few uh, guilds yesterday and I saw a few subjects being talk, spoken about. I'm not going to openly speak about who it was, what guild it was on this channel right now. Because as I was trying to... <laughs> Neil put, as I was trying to uh, give uh, my own, you know, view on what was being spoken about, you have my vote. You know who you are. You know which guild you're with. You have my vote. And what I was trying to do was was trying to just back you and your understanding, because you you guys are the flagship of the game. You guys are the loyal players that have been there since day one that have been helping players. And when I see that there's some sort of a subject on the horizons that may kind of like go against what you believe in, then be assured that I'd always be there for you. And all those that be worthy. That's what I was trying to do. But that's why I had to make these videos today. I don't mind the struggles of making these videos. <clears throat> that's why I had to make this video today. I don't mind going through the tougher times because I've seen the harder times than this. Believe me, I have. I don't mind going through the struggles of trying to back people that I don't even know just out of understanding and respect and even though you didn't give me uh, any form of uh, acknowledgement that I even even existed while I was trying to back you I don't I would never hold it against you it's totally fine and I understand because when you're so passionate about a game for as long as you have been it is tough <clears throat> going through what you're going through so I totally understand so that's why I had to make these videos today to let you know that I hear you and I see you and I understand you there's players that have done so much for this game that have got zero recognition I don't need <clears throat> the Plunder Pirates Discord group to show any understanding towards me for me to feel good about it I've got as far as I have without them. I can go that little bit further without them. It's no problem for me. Monkeys is that one going wrong? What's that one playing at? That's the one. Take that legendary pirate fort down. Take it down. Take it down. That's the one, yo.
Flat bar. That's the one. Anyway, allow me to go. Allow me to go. As I wish you all well. Wherever you may be. Keep smiling. Keep shining. Keep rising throughout your own game. Playing Germans as it evolves. But more and more supportly. Support one another through the perks. And spread the funding between multiple players. But understand that the players that have not got four builders need support to start with. So they can start to crawl and stand up on their own two feet first. But more and more supporting the algorithm dynamics and the cards they be dealt with in real life. That's the one. Number one. My pirate subscribers and my fizzy. That's the one.